Hi friends, this is my 14th video lecture on expert advisors. In this video, I'll be talking about um, loops. <coughs> um, loops are loops are are used to do something repeatedly for example if we wanted to um, do certain tasks task um, more than one times we can use loops for that and also uh, loops are very useful um, for um, getting the values um, from candlesticks like um, if we start a loop from this candle to this candle we can know all all the candles high low open and close um, values and with a short code okay without using loops you have to create four variables for each candle and you have to store those values inside them but um, the using loops you can uh, do it with uh, very short code and very easily um, loops are also very important to loop through your open opened uh, and your pending orders for example if you have some orders open here like one two three four five six you can loop through each um, trade and if you wanted to close some trade and uh, you can put a condition on that trade like if the profit of the trade is greater than some integer value you you can close that trade and, and there can be more benefits of loops like if you wanted to close all of your trades you can do that by looping through the trades like uh, loop to one trade close that second close third close and so on so loops are very important uh, in this video i'll be talking about for loop so um also for loops um, are used inside some functions so let's uh, write our for loop inside this init function for a for loop you have to write for and it has a body like that the curly brackets represents the body and here's the difference um, you write um, you write a variable and set it equals to some value let's say zero and then you write a condition uh, right after uh, this uh, um, this semicolon and then uh, as long as this condition will be true the loop will keep on iterating and the third and the third uh, thing uh, we write is uh, we increment the value of um, of this variable so that um, uh, we can execute this piece of code for a certain number of times for example uh, let me uh, dry run this code for you and let let's um, and of course we have to initialize this variable above here and you can also initialize the variable inside here like that so that's a lot easy so let's uh, do that let's make an alert function and alert function 
and this alert function will return us the um, candle um, open and high price of the searching candle so let's make it uh, the candle um, let me write the code and then I'll describe you about it the candle I the candle I low value equals low I so what uh, what this function will do um, the uh, when this uh, expert will, uh, will be attached to the chart it will start executing this init function it will come here and it will see um, it will look for this for loop and it will initialize the value of i to 0 then it will uh, check the condition as i i is less than 0 so it will um, come inside this code and execute this code like the candle i's value is zero at this moment so the candle zero um, zero has the low value and equals the low value of candle zero and it will display that value then it will in, uh, come here and then it will go from right here to right here and it will increment the value of i by 1 then it will check the condition 1 is less than 10 so that's true it will come inside the uh, inside the body and execute this code for i's value 1 so the candle 1 has the low value equals low of 1 that will, uh, that will show us the um, candles uh, this candles um, low value okay this is candle 0 this is 1 2 3 4 5 okay so it will keep on doing that until uh, this condition becomes false when um, uh, like uh, executing this code after the i value is 1 then it will go back here and increment the value of i which is uh, now 2 and then 3 4 5 6 7 up to 9 when the i i's value becomes 10 10 is less than 10 no that's false it will stop executing the code and it will come um, outside of this for loop and it will start executing the rest of the code which we will which we'll write uh, below this piece of code so let's compile it and see whether we get any error no errors and here you see the candle 0 has the low value of uh, um, 1.3358 let's see if it's true or not I think it's true uh, if we zoom in a little and uh, five eight so indeed you can see uh, the low value is um, of the zero scale is one point sorry this expert is not attached to this chart um, I'm full a little anyways yeah right here expert is attached to this chart um, okay see can you hover over this candle? Come on. Come on. Yeah. Low.